So guys, second position, we're going to work again from one of the most common uh, open guard situation can be a butterfly guard. A very simple setup, okay? This can work with or without the uniform. Before we have been working our typical way to uh, work an M drag and go for the X guard. This time, it's going to be really much easier because what I want to do is to work on this space in between me and my partner work the very basic concept about butterfly guard. Okay, so let's start first in this way, okay? When is a really good way to start a, a open guard as a butterfly? Whenever we are in this situation, I have space, my part is on the knees, I want to always keep my feet in between his legs, okay? And always keep your toes up, like just hooks, okay? And I want to be in line with my chin forward, okay? More than my hips, I cannot stay uh, with my face, with my chin behind the line of, of my of my hips. Why? If you just push me, I don't have strong enough, strength enough to maintain a good position. And if my back, if on my back, it will be too easy for you to make grips and pass to one side or to the other. But whenever I'm here, I try to push now. Push. I'm stronger. Okay. Of course, it's not a being going to be like a game of who is stronger one. Okay. But the main concept is to be here. Now. This is a concept that works, especially standing, with MMA, with grappling, with Jiu Jitsu, okay? Uh, we want to work uh, having the underhook, okay? And what is our goal for this setup for the X guy is to work both arms underneath, okay? But at the same time, one of his attack, one of his way to pass would be also move arm underneath my arms, okay? So, who is in control, who is the underhook. So from here, what I want to do is to try to reach first with one, on one side, right here. And as you can see, I have one hip of the ground and my left knee, my right knee is up, okay? Now, I want to start to face again to my partner, bring my left, my left knee of the ground, and I'm going to be here. I'm going to connect my head. Now, a very noiseful way to attack from here to don't give him the chance to work is to keep my head, my forehead, underneath his chin. It's very, number one, painful and noiseful, okay? And as you squeeze, he wants to push with your forehead. It's very noiseful for the person in, uh, in, in front. Most of the time, he can make the mistake to just move back and lose the balance. You just can squeeze and go on top, use the momentum, but it's too much easier, okay, for us. We are going to work a technical way uh, to work on his balance and set up a, a X guard, okay? Now I'm going to show you this way. Let's turn. Look, I'm here already. My hands are connect together and my forehead is really underneath his chin. Now what I want to do, we need to roll on my back, okay? As we do in the, during the cool down or during the uh, uh, warm up. And I want, to keep, I want to keep my legs up, okay? And this way I want to move his feet off the ground. One of the most common ways to hit to defend a position to don't just roll and flip is going to use the hands sideways on my, on my head, okay, right here. So he doesn't want to lose the position. So I'm going to go slow, look. And here, I want to skew <clears throat> with my butt underneath him. And now I roll. Boom, he's going to defend. I'm going to choose one side. I'm going to choose to keep the first hook, the left, okay? So look, I stretch my right. His leg is very close. What I want to do is to crunch right here. And I can always use my hand to defend the position if it's too close. I have the first hook. Now, I just have to move my right foot inside. This is going to be a really strong hook, okay? Strong enough, if I want, try to don't fall, okay? To lift my partner up, okay? It has to be a really strong hook. Don't not keep your feet that, okay? It wants to be active. Now, from here, he can be strong, okay? Especially if he tries to sit and kill my legs. He is good to pass if his knees face up. I want to use my right hand to like turn my waist and let his knee face down. I can control the collar if I want. Now from here, very basic way to sweep from here. He can be strong or having more base if I try to sweep in that way or in that way. Why? Because of his hands. Of course, this is some situation I can pull, control, but it's hard, especially if the other person it's far from me. So from here, remember, to have a good position, you want to touch with your here his chin, and close. Now, really basic, 
I want to keep my right foot in the same place. I want to slide my left foot in the direction of his heel. To make the position, you want to keep your hips and back flat on the mat. You cannot be here, or you cannot be even worse facing that way, flat. Now from here, I slide and I kick in that way while I'm pulling out in this way. Can you see? But from here, I don't want to give him a chance to keep the foot on the mat. I want to keep it right here. Now, I always like to have my right hand from the knee to control his back. And I do the exact. I pass my left hand in this way, control his left back. Now, big step back with your right foot while I will pull with my hand. I keep my left foot on the ground where it is. Okay, I don't move my left foot. I just make a big step back, like a technical way to be on my knee uh, on the ground on the right side. So look, I reach the collar and it's time to kill the heels. Now look, I make a step back and drop. Now, I have already the side mount. Let's 